Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Global Healthy Living. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, the abnormal vaginal discharge and its causes. But before I continue, please, please, please subscribe to my channel and be part of the Global Healthy family. And to those that have already subscribed, thank you very much for subscribing. Why is it important? To talk about abnormal vaginal discharge it is important to talk about this discharge because it is very very important as it carries away bacteria and dead cells to keep the vagina clean and prevent it from getting infections so the amount the color and the odor uh, of the discharge can vary depending on the woman's menstruation cycle. The smell may also be different uh, during a pregnancy or if the woman has not been diligent enough about her uh, personal hygiene. However, some discharge can indicate a presence of uh, an infection and requires for treatment. So, before I share with you the abnormal discharge, here are some of the colors of normal vaginal discharge. Number one, it is totally normal and okay uh, to produce milk white or clear vaginal discharge. For pregnant women, they can experience thin white milk discharge throughout pregnancy and that is very okay. This type of discharge for pregnant women does not smell or has a mild smell. So thick white vaginal discharge is okay provided that it does not smell. More often, a white discharge is normal and creamy vaginal discharge is perfectly okay and normal. So uh, here are some of the vaginal discharge that indicates an infection and that requires you to go for treatment. Remember that abnormal vaginal discharge is usually uh, an indicator of infection. It is caused by something that disrupts uh, the balance of bacteria in the vagina and any change in the natural balance of this bacteria uh, can affect the color, the smell and the uh, texture of the discharge. Yeast infection and uh, bacterial vaginosis are the most common cause of our uh, abnormal vaginal discharge and other causes can be uh, sexually transmitted diseases. So uh, number one, of the abnormal vaginal discharge appearance it can be a bright yellow or greenish discharge if you experience bright yellow or greenish vaginal discharge and this discharge is accompanied with itching uh, inflammation or pain while urinating bleeding between periods or pelvic pain or urinary inconsistency get to know that it is abnormal and uh, this kind of uh, abnormal discharge i mean the bright yellow or greenish discharge is normally caused by sexually transmitted diseases or call it sexually transmitted infections and some of the sexually transmitted infections that can cause your vaginal discharge to be a uh, bright yellow or greenish uh, it can be trichomoniasis which is sexually transmitted disease caused by a uh, parasite it can be chlamydia or gonorrhea which is caused by a bacteria it can also be gentle herpes which is a sexually transmitted infection caused by herpes simplex virus. So if you experience a bright yellow or greenish vaginal discharge, please go for a treatment. You are likely to have a sexually transmitted disease. 
Number two of the abnormal uh, vaginal discharge is thick or cheesy white clumpy discharge. Uh, it is important for you to go for treatment. And this kind of uh, vaginal abnormal discharge is caused by yeast infection. In one of my videos, I talked about uh, yeast infections or candidiasis. And this kind of infection is accompanied uh, by other symptoms like swelling and itching of the vagina and painful uh, sexual intercourse. So if you have that kind of uh, discharge, please go for treatment. Uh, the third abnormal vaginal discharge is usually watery and grayish in color, bad smell. If you have that and then it is heavier than usual, please go uh, for treatment you may be having what we call bacterial vaginosis. So it is important if you have that to go for treatment as well. Another abnormal vaginal discharge is orange discharge. If you have that kind of orange a vaginal discharge, it's not normal and it indicates an infection. This orange vaginal discharge may be accompanied by other symptoms uh, like burning or uh, itching of the vagina and cramps. If you have that, go to the hospital. Another abnormal uh, vaginal discharge is pink in color. It can be caused by cervical or endometrial cancer and it can also be caused by uh, cervical erosion. So uh, this kind of discharge is accompanied by pain, fever, swelling, and, uh, and itching. So if you have that, please go to the doctor. Remember, uh, early detection saves lives. Don't wait for too long. If you see anything abnormal down there, please run to the hospital. Don't feel embarrassed to say if you have a problem. At any time, all women can have a problem down there. So please, it's not you uh, who will be the first to have such a problem. So another abnormal vaginal discharge is bloody or brown discharge. This can be caused by uh, irregular menstrual cycles or less often cervical cancer. But this discharge are, must be accompanied by other symptoms for you uh, to know that it's abnormal. If you have bloody or brown vagina discharge and you have other symptoms like pelvic pain and abnormal bleeding, please run as much as possible to the hospital as it may indicate other serious diseases. If the color, the smell, and the consistency looks significantly unusual, please go for a checkup. It may be something serious down there. So here are some of the tips for preventing a vaginal infection that can lead to abnormal vaginal discharge. Number one, keep the vagina clean by washing it uh, with gentle mild soap and warm water on the outside listen to this there is no need to put uh, the soap inside uh, your vagina number two is never use scented soap or feminine products or feminine sprays avoid a uh, bubble bath down there and you will be fine the third tip to keep uh, your vagina from having abnormal discharge is to wear a hundred percent cotton underwears please if you go uh, for shopping remember to buy a hundred percent cotton underwears the last but not least uh, 
tip I can give you is to always wipe from the front to the back whenever you go to the toilet. This can help you to avoid infections from entering your vagina and then cause it to have uh, abnormal discharge. Thank you so much for watching this video and please if it's your first time to be on this channel subscribe and share like and comment thank you so much